But you guys got another video on how to create your own portable Windows 11 NVMe external device here with all of your applications on this actual device. It's pretty straightforward. You can use whatever external device you want. I'm using the Orico M.2 SSD enclosure. They do plenty of different ones here to choose from. But if you want to use another one, that's entirely up to you. You're going to need yourself an NVMe drive here. This is the one I've got here. There's a Gen 3. Uh, this is a Kingston, I think, some sort of Kingston one, uh, 500 gigs. So we're going to be putting that inside here. Again, you can use whatever type of branded uh, NVMe you want to. It's a Gen 3 one. And you can also use whatever external uh, drive you want to use here. Let me just show you the specs on this one on the back of the box here. You can pause the screen at this stage and read all the information here. They do different colors here. It does support 40 GBPS. and. Uh, so inside the box, you're going to get your cable. This is also type C. And we also have your standard uh, USB connection on here. You've got some screws, a thermal pad to go on top of the actual drive to keep it cool. There is a little heat spreader on here to put on top to keep that cool and dissipate heat as well. And we have the aluminium external uh, drive here, which we can put the drive into. I'm just going to quickly uh, undo the screw here. But this is made of lightweight aluminium it's super lightweight and uh, we got the type c connector on there as well so let's get this screw removed so we can have a look inside and there you go it's just a simple little board in here with a m.2 uh, slot on there to put the drive in it does come with a screw to mount this in so let me go ahead and put this into here like so and uh, once we've done that we need to screw this down sometimes they use a little rubber grommet on these but in this case it is a screw so I'm going to go ahead and get that screw and we're going to screw this in. Pretty straightforward stuff. There we go. And uh, if you've got other screwdrivers, you can use those as well. Now we've got that in. What we're going to do is put the thermal pad on top. This is going to help to dissipate the heat a little bit more because these little external closures do get pretty warm. So you want to make sure that you're doing the best you can to keep that running nice and cool. They do have this little heat sink on here to help cool it down and also hold the thermal pad on as well. So let me just remove the plastic from the thermal pad and stick this on. It's not an exact science, just get it on top of the actual drive here, that will do. And then we need to remove the top covering here. There is a little plastic thing on there. So make sure you remove that. Once you've got that done, you can put your little tiny heat sink on. And uh, this should be just thick enough to fit inside this little cage here. So let's go ahead and put that on and slide it up a little bit more than that. There we go, that'll do. And once we've got that done, we can then put the top on and screw it back in. And we're ready to install Windows 11 on this little NVMe external drive here. So it's pretty nice little enclosure this. Now you don't have to install Windows 11 on here. You can use this for backing up and other stuff as well. Uh, maybe you want to run your games off of here. You could do that. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get Windows 11 on here. Let me just quickly get this cable out to show you as well so you can see the actual cable now the cable that comes with it is designed to run at super fast speed so you should get these super fast speeds if you're using a type c connection on your computer if you don't it does have the standard usb connector on here for usb 3.0 uh, but we're going to be using the type c one here to get those super fast speeds on this little device so you're getting the best of both worlds here now because we're using an nvme on this one uh, it should really uh, install very quickly and we should be able to boot up a lot quicker and it should be a lot more easier to move and navigate around the drive itself because of the speed next we're going to need to download windows 11 so just just head over to microsoft's website here and download the iso file and we're going to select our language here you can choose whatever language you like i'm going for english here and once we've got this done we can now hit the 64-bit download button and this will download the ISO for us onto our computer. Next, you're going to need Rufus and this is to create our Wintergo or Windows 11 uh, portable drive here. I'm downloading a portable version here and this will help us set this up the way we want it. Now, quite a few people have tried this before and said they've had loads of trouble with it. And the reason why for that is because you're probably using a super slow drive. You really want to use the fastest drive possible. I've already got mine plugged in here and I've given it a name called Portable Win 11. I've opened up uh, Rufus here and we're going to select uh, the ISO file 
from our download section because that's where we download it. So let's hit the select button and select our ISO. Once we've done this, we can leave it on partition scheme GPT. Uh, that is also UEFI non CSM. And then select the image option Windows to go. And from there, we can leave this all as is. You can give it a volume name if you want to, call it a Portable Win 11 if you want to. I'm just leaving that as is. But if you want to give it a name more recognizable, you can do. Once you're happy with all your selection, we can then click on Ready. And this will then ask us what version we want to install. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 11 Pro. Click OK. And this will move on to the next section where we can customize our Windows installation so we don't have to go through all of this uh, during the installation process. So let me go ahead and give this a name. I'm going to call it, say, Portable PC or maybe Portable Win 11 or something like that, depending on what you want to call yours. Maybe I'll call this uh, something slightly different. This will be the user account once this is uh, created up. So let me go ahead and just back this up a bit and call this Portable Win 11. And uh, we can then put space in there, maybe. There we go. And now we can click OK. And it will need to reboot once you boot into this for the very first time. We'll also notify you that all the data will be erased on that drive. So click OK to continue. And I'll speed this process up. It takes a few minutes, nothing more than five minutes, and it should be done. Once that's done, you're going to need to boot into the BIOS and then boot to this actual drive here. So once you're in the BIOS here, I'm going to push F8 on my keyboard because this will take me to the boot menu and I'll be able to just click on the uh, actual drive that we've just created here. Let me go ahead and click on F8 here and we'll boot to the menu. So you should see the actual drive appear and there it is right there. Need to select the drive and uh, once we select the drive you can either use your arrow keys or your mouse. Uh, once you've selected the drive it will choose to boot to that actual drive so let's go ahead and select mine yours might be named different i'm just going to let this boot up for the very first time that needs to prep the actual uh, drive first with the installation and then you'll need to reboot again and go through that same process again to boot to the actual windows once you've done it once you don't have to do it any more times after that you can see it's starting services and starting to get this all prepared so you will need to reboot. Once you reboot, you should see something looking like this. So let's go ahead and uh, get this done. And we should be at the desktop of our portable Windows 11. And there we are. And we're now at the uh, desktop. So that is the actual drive created. I can quickly open this up here and show you here so you can actually see. You can't see too much because I don't have recording software on here. I do need to download the network driver here but this is the actual drive as you can see it's our portable drive and i will need to download uh, the driver for the network on my other pc drop it onto the actual usb flash drive so i can then install it and then get network working on this so if you have no internet on your portable uh, windows 11 then you'll need to download the driver on your computer drop it onto the actual usb drive and then once you boot to that drive you will already have it on there and then just install it as you would any other device or any other driver so i'm just going to quickly capture the screen here and uh, i've had to uh, put this along a little bit because i'm on a widescreen monitor if you want to add uh, applications on here all you need to do is you can just go to the internet and then download portable apps and install them onto the system and you'll be able to run all your portable applications on here and uh, let me go ahead and show you that here so you can see here is the drive and that is the actual nvme drive here and you can see that network drive there uh, which i had to uh, put on let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, portable apps on here so to do that head over to the website here and then download the actual program itself this comes with a bunch of free applications that you can use inside their software. And uh, these are pretty much tested by the actual company themselves. Uh, so all of the software that is offered for free on here has been tested to make sure it's clean and there's no uh, nasties inside there. So let's go ahead and click OK here and get this installed. All you need to do is install it onto the actual drive. You can see here we're going to install this as a portable application on. The actual usb flash drive so it's not going anywhere else you might need to change uh, the installation area so go to this pc 
choose your actual drive here and then create a folder give it a name whatever you like i'm going to call mine portable apps and then all you need to do here is install all of this inside this folder and then all the applications that you choose will be installed in that container and that's it they will run from that location whether it be your browser or whether it be uh, some other applications they'll all run from inside that little container there which is quite useful if you want to run portable apps on your uh, portable windows 11 and that's pretty much it you can select this to boot on startup so when you boot to the actual drive it will automatically start up anyway that is going to be about it so that is basically how you can create your own portable windows 11 on your nvme drive or enclosure uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members whether you're tier one tier two or tier three i really do appreciate all the support if you fancy a chat then head over to our discord server the link is in the video description and I'll see you over there for a chat or I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.